Uh, hello? Hey, Lois, I'm at the small bodega in the living room lobby trying to pick out a new baby card for Janine. Uh, who's Janine? <laughs> yeah, right. Anyway, should I get one with a baby with SpaghettiOs on his head, like, this is what it's going to be like, or one with a stork with an injured back? Peter, I don't care. Well, time to live out my dream of becoming a bodega cat. I'm between the breads. All right, empty school. Time to shining my way through the halls. Principal Shepard, where is everyone? Principal Shepard's not here, Miss Griffin. Why are you talking like that? Sorry, that was Tony, the little boy who lives in my mouth. Why are you here? It's skip day. It's skip day? Nobody told me. She's unpopular and unattractive. Tony? My name's Stewie, and this camera saved my life. I was born on the wrong side of the tracks. My father made holes in belts, and my mother was the Italian guy on a pizza box. The old man wanted me to go into the family business. Hey! I don't hear any holes being holed! I want to make movies, Pa! Don't make me beat you with the instrument with which I make holes in belts! It's called an awl, Pa! You son of a bitch! Pa! Do something! Frank, no! Six months later, my old man died when they canceled the Tony Danza show. The one that was on during the day. Anyway, all that is why I want to make a movie about a dog who joins a hockey team. Hello? Chris? Did you know it was skip day? Mom? Dad? Uh, hello? Mom, where are you guys? Who is this? It's Meg. Where is everyone? Well, this can't be Meg. She's with us here at the pier. Who is that? Someone who says she's Meg. Give me that. Okay, Meg, if this is you, what's your birthday? March 23rd. I have no idea if that's correct. Good day, sir. Sorry about that, everyone. Now let's get back to the fair and enjoy our March 23rd. Peter, please tell us what happened. I'm sitting there at my desk, trying to watch porn on sites you guys haven't figured out yet, and she comes in and kisses me. <laughs> now, Barbara, the reason you are here at Super HR is there's been an accusation of unwanted touching and an overly sexualized work environment. That's it. Peter, no more working from home. I want you to go back to the office. Peter, how can the company make this right? Bring back Lay's Wow Chips with Olestra. Mr. Griffin, those chips were recalled in the 90s for causing explosive diarrhea. You heard me. Mm, so good. Uh-oh. All right, boys, get me up to speed. The usual, please. Here you are, ladies 7 on the left and men's 11 on the right. I just need a license. Thanks. Oh, and happy birthday. Not updated those. Ahem. Hi. So, is this your break time? No, sir. Oh, okay. I was wondering if my watch was off, maybe. It's not. You see, Mom, we try to stay focused on the task at hand here at Griffin, 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 and Griffin. Good morning, Griffin, 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 and Griffin. Huh. Well, I thought our letterhead had five Griffins on it, Meg. But you were right to leave one of them off. Because you're f fired. Your first speaker, Principal Shepard. Meg Griffin was an honest man, a kind man. A man who knew how... Oh, my stars. I have nothing. I kind of feel bad. There's nobody here. I know. We're not even here. This was the right decision. Hey, Chris, I'm super sorry your sister is dead. Mwah. If there's anything we can do to help you during your time of need. Stamps. 
<laughs> what? Stamps. I need stamps. Okay. You got it. Wow. Are girls coming on to me because my sister died? Cool! Has the jury reached a verdict? We have, Your Honor. And how do you find the defendant? Bacall or not Bacall? We find the defendant, Peter Griffin, Bacall. <laughs> Peter Griffin, I hereby sentence you to an awkward apology dinner with Joaquin Phoenix. Well, I'm waiting. Meg, wherever you are, I hope that you're with Bubba. And I want you to know that Lieutenant Dan is walking around. Is this from Forrest Gump? I miss you, Meg. <laughs> Stewie, is there anything you'd like to say? Yeah. We're going to save a lot of money on toilet paper. Ever see her wipe? She'd wrap up both hands like oven mitts and act like she was cleaning out a pot of burnt chili. Anyway, that's all I care to say about Meg. Maybe we should just have a moment of silence as we hear the guy down the street scream at his barking dog. Shut up! Will you shut up? Get in the house! Get in the house! Hey, if uh, this goes south, is there a plan for Peter's rakes? Um, who's gonna get Peter's rakes? What did I tell you, Mom? What did I tell you? Look, I just thought it would be one less thing to worry about later. You came out of the blocks too soon, Joe. Oh, Lois, I came as soon as I heard. So... Have you guys made any arrangements rake-wise? Bonnie, ixnay on the x-ray. Clear! No, you do stuff up here. Clear! 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 Clear. No, that's the good sound. Oh, well, why don't you just do everything? I hate this stupid hospital. Hi, new neighbor. I just thought I'd come by and see if I could borrow a cup of tampons. Sure. Just bring them back when you're done. No rush. Thanks. My name's not important. What's yours? Um, my name? My name is... Hallway. Natalie Hallway. Nice to meet you, Natalie. You want to join us on the roof and sit under string lights? That sounds great. I'll bring my hemorrhoid donut to sit on. <laughs> Great joke, Natalie Hallway. Yes, it is a joke. Because Natalie Hallway doesn't need to sit on a hemorrhoid donut. To Natalie Hallway, our new friend. Natalie, sit down. Tell us about yourself. No! What of you? Senor Griffin. I think it's time for you to depart. Thanks, Jose, probably. Thanks for everything. Hey, before I go, what's the boat's Wi-Fi password? Oh, there's no Wi-Fi on board. I don't want to go! <gasps> I don't want to go! Hey. Hey! That's, uh, that's a plug. You, you pulled the plug on me? Peter, it was a very difficult decision. How could you do that? I'm alive! I'm here from the mortgage company. Mr. Griffin, you're three months late on your payment. Ah, uh, he died. Oh, that's too bad. Mind if I turn on my cotton candy machine? <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Ah, you got me. You know, Stewie, when Meg was little, we used to love to make Christmas cookies together. Uh, are those dongs? My God, from October to January, I don't come up for air. All those families enjoying their Christmas dongs. Could we get some of your cookies for our wedding? Get out of here! This is a family bakery. I'm a Christian. In the case of Kent and Bradley versus Holiday Dongs, the court rules that you must give us the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Under court order, Stewie went on to make baked goods for the gay wedding. And because of that, he did not get into heaven, just like they've always been saying.